In this video, we'll learn about the highest probability trading points within the markets. This is an example or a crude illustration of how the market works. It moves with these swings or levels or pushes, whereby three pushes actually lead us to a reversal like this. And all the connectors of two levels or two pushes are the highest probability points of entry. However, you need to know how to derive the war cycle. And that is the sole reason of this video. So sit back and relax and learn. So firstly, there are a lot of theories out there on trading. But the unfortunate part is that the poor ones are very popular. I've seen a trend line system having millions of views. But if you try to trade with such systems, you'd see that you are on the losing side most of the times. We are going to define how the markets move. And with that, we would see that the charts are all reactions of traders from uh, to economic conditions. With that in mind, we are saying if someone perceives that the pound is going to drop and actually participate within the markets, with that reason, he or she has actually contributed to what we will be seeing on the markets. In addition to that, markets that we see or charts that we see are footprints of large financial institutions. I love to call these guys the market makers because it is these guys that gives high or the biggest contribution of what we see on the markets. So a mixture of these two gives rise to oscillatory cycles that comes from human psychology. And to have a stronger edge in the markets, you need to understand these cycles. You need to dream them. You need to drink them. You need to be in them so that you actually catch the highest probability trades. So this is how the psychology works and how the markets will react to those psychologies and prints out what we'll see on the markets. So let's test, start with this point. Let's call it A. At point A, we can see that we had a rise and a drop. And this kind of structure will actually give rise to the majority selling the market. Why? Because they've seen a turning point. So it's actually normal to see a lot of people actually making some sales at these points. Someone may actually ask uh, that he or she doesn't do that. And he knows exactly where to buy and sell. However, if we are to actually go for a roll call of millions of traders participating within the markets, you'd see that billions of traders are actually, actually millions of traders are actually taking shots whenever they see it's a small turning point like that. Therefore, with that in mind, the market always moves where there are lesser contracts. It ignores where there are a lot of contracts. It means if we have a lot of sales going downwards, we, the market will react by going to buys, where there is uh, uh, actually deriving that concept from the supply and demand. It actually supplies where the demand is. In that case, you'd see the market actually going to an opposite direction. So in the part, in the illustration on B, you'd see that although traders, a lot of traders have gone short, the market will actually take out their stop losses to, 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 to introduce liquidity within the markets. However, if the majority sees that the market is now going in an upward direction, the majority will buy. So basically, that is how the psychology is working out to create what we call the market cycles. After that, we can see that uh, we reach at this point and the market gives us such a, a, a structure. In this case, it's now a similar structure to A. C is now similar to A and the majority are now selling. And with that, the market always goes where there are lesser contracts. And that is when it would come out to D. At D, we now have sufficient contracts to actually reverse the market. Or the market makers are now involved since the majority will now be in an upward uh, direction. The market makers are now there to reverse and take off all the liquidity. So usually at this third push, we have a strong mix of buys and sells. Why? Because of the psychology that has been involved from the previous pushes. When they sold, it bought when they bought it sold so at this point the market is now in a strong mix of buys and sells and usually it's now in a ranging phase and within that ranging phase it's now the good 
uh, the best opportunity for those who have large amounts of capital to get involved in reversing the markets and take out those that are in confusion. So basically, that what we have uh, just talked about will give rise to what we call cycles. Cycles are basically pushes that are involved within the markets. They occur on each and every time frame. It doesn't matter uh, the monthly, weekly, daily, H4, H1, M15. However, on the monthly time frame, it's a bit difficult to actually construct something of this manner because it takes a lot of years to do so. And we haven't exhausted enough years to actually have this much data on all uh, trading instruments. So basically what we are trying to say, we are saying first push that arise from what we have seen earlier second push and third push after three pushes or after three levels we reach a point where there is a strong mix of buys and sells on that strong mix of buys and sells usually the market will reverse and from that reversal we are trying to create a higher time frame push in this case we had three pushes but we actually had one push on the higher time frame if this was an h1 on the h4 we had three pushes from there we start again and we connect these two pushes with what we call a reset point so this will be a reset point so from that reset point we start again two three and this becomes the second push of the higher time frame doesn't matter uh, it's actually a time frame and it's preceding time frame in what we are explaining that means if this is a daily time frame that we are looking at, these inside levels are from the H4 time frame, F H4 time frame. And if this, the war red box is actually an H1 time frame, these small time frame, these levels are from the M15 time frame. So it's basically a level being splitted with its preceding level. In that case, we start again the count until we reach an absolute absolute reversal point where there is so much confusion that uh, will actually trip traders so how do we actually use these cycles is the main question at one point you may you may have been confused on the market direction is the is it going up or is it going down the fundamental starting step is to see which part of the cycle are you and then try to build up from there if you are in level one like this, the, 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 the wise thing is to actually try to build up this whole cycle. Therefore, if you trade a buy from level one, it's actually wiser. And if you trade a buy from level two, it's actually wiser. But knowing very well that if you have two levels like this, three levels like this, it's no longer wiser to buy at this point. Why? Because from the cycles and the psychology that I've shown you earlier, we are now trying to reverse the market. Therefore, it will be wiser to actually wait for a reset and restart a cycle since we are building from smaller time frame going to higher time frames. So time frames uh, intersect to build up cycles as mentioned earlier. We've said in one H4 level, there should be three H1 levels. In one daily level, there should be three H4 levels. This may be hard to comprehend, but sit back as we take you to the charts to illustrate how all this is done. But before we go on the charts, we have uh, uh, the workhorse on this uh, topic, which is the institutional market maker method. And uh, it's actually going for $99. Uh, contact us through the link that I'll leave in the description box below. So, this is euro against odd. I have compressed the war chart so that you'd see. Currently, I'm on the H4 time frame. On that H4 time frame, what I just want to show is we can see that the market is trying to move in those threes, threes, threes. However, these threes may be interconnected to each other with what we call consolidation. Since we've said at level three, there is always confusion, a strong mix of buys and sells, right? So firstly, before we start anything, as an illustration sec, we can see that the market is actually push, pullback, push, consolidation, and then push, 
right? So this is a threes. From there, we have push, pull back, push, consolidation, and push. Basically, that is how the market moves. So how is this important to us in our trading and how can we use it to our advantage? The first and foremost, as I've said, is to start by looking at these uh, cycles. Which part of the cycle are we and what are we expecting within that particular cycle, right? From this, we can actually start to, let's, uh, let, let me to try to zoom so that uh, we may see clearly. If I zoom, this is how it starts to look like. But before I zoom in, I just want to, 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 to mark these pushes that I can see, right? On your odd, I am seeing that we have one, which is the first push, right? One, first push, two, second push, right? And then three. So we've said, after we reach three pushes, what do we do? We expect to see a market reversal, right? So at reversal, we, stay, we expect to see a reset before we actually start another push. So this is on the H4 time frame. It's basically in, in the daily that I've marked on the H4 time frame. If we go down within this, we should see what we have been talking about. On that, on the on the H4 time frame, we can start to count again the levels. Let me zoom in. On this part, we can see that we have those three pushes again. We had first impulsive rise like that. Let me change color. First impulsive rise. Second impulsive rise. And then third impulsive rise. So we've said at the third rise, we expect to see a reversal, which actually occurred. So if we go within these in inside those, we now move to the H1 time frame. We can start to see again that there are also three pushes, right? We had the first push. Let me change the color. We had the first push, the second push, and then the last push at this point. And we've said at the third push, we expect to see a market reversal, right? So how or where can we make our entries? We've said at connectors of two levels is where we make our entries. It's unfortunate that for the scope of this video, we are not going to delve into the patterns that you need to look for within the connectors of two different levels. So this, this is a level and this is a level and their connection, that is where we make our entry and their connection, that is also where we make our entry. Then this is now a reset point connecting these three levels to the other three levels. Let's count those levels to see the impulses that are involved. We can see that there is first day of rise second day of rise so there are techniques that you may use to simplify how you count levels and those are taught in our institutional market maker method to the last one which is this then from there if we start to count again we may see that the market gapped at this point we had a gap right then starting above this, the opening price of the previous level, actually going to this as a wall structure and then to that point. So it was a day of rise, a rise, although this part was then queued, 
and then the last like that so someone may say i can do this because <coughs> it is in hindsight but if you do it the right way and using several techniques that are available you would find these points so as i have said earlier the trading points are the connectors of two different levels but you need to look for several patterns for you to make entries so basically you've seen that the market is a three pattern move you can see that within this if we continue you'd see the threes the threes the threes if you can look at this point there's one two three like that so basically it's the threes the threes and the threes so at this point we are at the last three what are we expecting we are expecting to see the market to rise that is if this holds as a reset we need to first see a reset pattern for us to see this holding and continue going in an upward direction that on that case we come to the end of our video thank you for watching like and subscribe and check out our free telegram channel i'll leave the link in the description box below see you on the next one